So yet again, another month has passed and I still can't quite believe how fast the year is going. <laughs> I think I said that last month as well. <laughs> another month is done and I didn't think I'd actually made very much in July, but apparently I have made a little bit more than I thought I had. So I'll kick off with the things that I started before July and finished in July and then we'll move on to the month itself. So the first thing that I'd started and before July is the Lacey Bolero. It went really well um, to the point where I've actually started another one in a different yarn. Um, the only trouble is that the yarn itself is slightly itchy so <laughs> I haven't worn it very much um, but the fit is good and the uh, the shape is what I wanted. The only issue I had was I actually made one of the armholes slightly too big. I miscounted when I was knitting and I made one of them a bit bigger than the other. But when it's on, you can't really tell that it's uh, uh, that it's the wrong size. It's this side that hangs slightly lower than the other one in the picture. <laughs> uh, the second thing that I started in June and finished in July was this sock. Um, for part of my odd sock collection normal knitting pattern this one is in uh, a gear which is quite a nice blue and white sort of mottled pattern so moving on to july itself so the first thing or things that i made was uh, some needle minders so i wanted a needle minder for the cross stitch that i did in july even though i have probably 20 or 30 altogether in my stocks from other ones that I've made, I wanted to make some butterfly ones, or I made white. Well, I wanted to make a butterfly one for myself, and I thought I might as well make a few while I'm at it. Um, these haven't made it onto the Etsy shop or anything. They're probably just going to be in my private stock for gifts for people or just for me to use. Uh, the one in the middle without the uh, the piece of cardboard is the one that I used for my cross stitch. Um, so. I also made this small blanket using a ball of yarn that I found hiding in the back of a cupboard that shouldn't usually have yarn in. I thought I'd see what I can make out of it. Um, I was going to make a, a granny hex cardigan to start with, like for a baby, but I didn't even have enough to make uh, <laughs> unless it was a very, very premature baby. Wouldn't have fit. So um, I made a very small blanket. I put the small blanket doll. So it could be for a doll, could be for a small child. Um, I did offer it up for free on my Instagram, but nobody took me up on the offer. But if you want it, please let me know. And as long as you're happy for me to have your address, you can have it for free. Uh, then I started on the cross stitch. So this took me a bit longer than I thought it would. I designed it before July. I designed it in June um, because I wanted to make it myself. I just, I prefer coming up with the ideas and making things myself because I'll actually have them up in my house rather than the kits that already exist because most of them, especially the commercial ones, are a bit too twee for my liking. Like I like things that are cute and sort of, you know, sort of cottage core and that sort of thing, but a lot of it is just way too cutesy for me and a bit complicated, to be honest. Um, so I'll actually lift this up so you can see a little bit better. No, I won't. I'll put a picture on the screen like I normally do. How did I forget I do that? Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so um, it's all just normal crosses um, or X's for the whole thing, except for the stars, which I did really, really bad French knots for, because I've never done a French knot before, and I decided I'd start with this. <laughs> um, I got a frame from... I believe it was Sainsbury's and uh, it's uh, at the office at work now on my desk uh, so I can see it every day. Uh, then this is the second Bolero thingy that I started. I've not finished it yet. I am still not even halfway through it yet. I'm probably just over two, no, just over one third through it at the moment. Um, I had some trouble I say some, a lot of trouble with the gauge for this because the yarn is completely different from the one I used before. And I thought I'd done a good gauge swatch, but I hadn't. And when I tried to make um, the armhole, it basically went from the top of my shoulder to my belly button. And so tiny, tiny fraction bigger than I was going for. So I had to frog back about two thirds of what I'd done to get to a point where I could do it correctly. 
I I was almost at the point of completely giving up and not starting it again or not continuing with it. But I was determined to do it because I really like the yarn and it's um it looks really cute. I really like it and I <laughs> I kind of want to hurry up and get it finished, but it's going to take a while. Um, hopefully before the end of this month though. Uh, the next thing I made was a birthday present for my colleague Ellie. Um, she wanted a uh, something butterfly and a key ring type situation, so I found a nice little butterfly uh, crochet pattern on Pinterest. I did a couple of bits and bobs, and uh, yeah, she absolutely loved it. She's got it on her keys now. <laughs> uh, then the next thing I made was the last zipped pouch out of the pouches that I already have or had I should say um to use up a bit more yarn and to finish off the pack of zipped pencil cases thingies whatever you want to call it um I really like making these and they are really handy and I think lots of people will like them just no one's bought them although I did sell a couple at a craft fair that we had at work um uh, we do each month we raise money for charities and last month we also did a like a like a maker's market craft fair bring and buy just a little something to bring a bit more money in um and this went there and I believe came home with me again but I did sell a couple of the other ones um I say sell people paid for them but I didn't keep any of the money like every penny that people paid for stuff went back into the charity um I took all of the stuff that I've got in stock uh because at the end of the day, I don't mind if I don't get any money for things because I don't make stuff to make money. I make stuff because I enjoy the making. I just want to sell things to get them out of my house. <laughs> um, not that I'm saying that I, you know, I'm I'm rich and I can afford to spend hundreds of pounds on equipment and and stuff. I I can't. I sell enough stuff to pay for the things that I buy for the materials and if I don't sell some things so be it it's you know it's no more expensive than any other hobby really um, as long as you don't uh, overspend by accident so <laughs> I, uh, I do have to impose rules on myself sometimes like I'm not allowed to spend more than x amount this month on myself on yarn if someone commissions something then I can spend more because they're paying for the yarn um, like Ellie has commissioned um, a blanket from me which I've got the yarn for and once I finish my current thing that I'm knitting that will be the next thing to go um, but I've only charged her for the yarn so it's not costing me anything to have the yarn or to get the yarn and it's not costing her as much as it would as if she commissioned someone else to do it I only do that for my friends though or my colleagues people that I'm close to other people I will charge a bit more for for the labor because I don't know them <laughs> if that makes sense um anyway uh so the next thing I did was I didn't make the whole of this top um one of my colleagues um has this crocheted top which uh, it it's the bottom band and then this red line here um you'll see the closer up picture basically she just wanted a few rows adding so there's a bit more coverage on the gals because um it was just a bit too much side boob and cleavage um for personal preference so i got some um rainbow yarn which actually is right here uh this rainbow crochet yarn which worked really well because i didn't want to do lots of red on it I wanted it to kind of complement it she's happy with it and she said it fits really well so I'm um, quite happy with that and it didn't take very long to do thankfully I've just realized the picture looks like like hypno toad or something um, that's a little bit freaky <laughs> it looks nicer on I'm sure um, the next thing that I did was to extend the sleeves on this um, uh, shrug cardigan thingy uh that i'd made it was just a square which was then sewed up along this edge here i didn't add any sleeves on at the time because i thought it would be all right but it wasn't quite big enough to be okay without full sleeves so i added some sleeves on i just used some of the same yarn um that i made the like the outside of that was made with and the inside actually um uh just extended 12 rows of um like the double crochet clusters and then two rows of half double crochet and that's long enough 
um it's i didn't do a proper cuff on it and i might add <laughs> i might alter it again and add a proper cuff for the sleeves to stay up because at the moment they don't um like if you push your sleeves up because i i like pushing my sleeves i prefer prefer to have a tight at the elbow sleeve um personally um it doesn't sit like that so i might uh <laughs> if i feel like <laughs> finishing this off again i'll add another bit on it um and the last thing i believe yes the last thing for this month is a pair of socks so the um charity fundraiser that i mentioned earlier one of the things that we had was a raffle that was the <laughs> the most popular thing and that's because we always uh well almost always have a uh, an extra day's paid holiday for the lucky winner on the staff we have lots of other things that we had um bubbly chocolates um a pamper hamper and i think like a preserves hamper um the socks that i made half day's holiday and also lunch paid for for a week by work uh so it was quite popular as you can imagine and one of my colleagues uh won a pair of socks from myself i hadn't already made them because everyone's feet are different sizes so i, I made up a little uh, gift certificate using one of my uh, one of my business cards and just put on the back like this entitles the bearer to one pair of handmade socks with a couple of instructions on what to do so I know what size to make them and um, I've made them stripy with all the various different yarns that I have because I was originally going to buy a ball of yarn specifically for it but I actually really like the idea of stripy socks and I've not tried stripy socks before because I'm always worried about the ends and how to weave them in uh, ooh. <laughs> but I saw a tutorial on a really effective way to weave the ends in in a way that it doesn't um, doesn't unravel easily or at all apparently and also doesn't sort of telegraph through to the other side of the sock to make a weird line and also doesn't feel bumpy against the skin on the inside when you're wearing the sock and it's worked really well i've i've finished one sock and i'm two thirds ish way through the second one so that should be finished before the end of this week i think it's uh, it's gone with me to work as my break time activity craft because i like to keep busy during lunch because <laughs> if i'm just sat scrolling on my phone i'll get bored of that after a while and start doing work again if i'm sat at my desk so i take a craft in to do and uh, keeps me busy and gets my crafts done um but i usually take something small and easy to move about like the lacy bolero won't come with me to work because it's big and bulky and gets in the way a little bit um but a sock absolutely fantastic perfect thing before that it was the uh the cross stitch um because i had a little um old ferrero rocher tub that i had all the different colors that i was using and needles scissors and a couple of other bits so i had like a neat little packet that i could take with me with things in um i do that quite often actually make a little kit for myself to take things around like i've got my zippy pouch with all my accoutrements in for my knitting and sewing uh, knitting and crochet even and then if I've got cross stitch I've got a little tub with all the bits and bobs in um, so yeah that's July um, I don't know what August will have in store craft wise except for finishing off the socks finishing off the bolero and making a blanket for Ellie um, I will almost certainly make a lot more things than that <laughs> but I've got nothing else in the pipeline so far um once i finish the socks then i'll be moving on to ellie's blanket and continuing with the bolero um and yeah i'll see what the craft gods have in store for me after that if you would like to buy anything off me anything pre-made is on my etsy store there is a link to that down below um well my link tree is in the description down below and in my link tree there is also links to everything else including my instagram and my facebook page where if you want to make a commission or query about a commission send me a message on there and i will give you a quote so thank you for joining me and hopefully i'll see you next month